What is up, Ladder Climbers? This is Antoine Wade, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about a computer and information technology degree. All about computer and information technology degree. One of my subscribers asked me a question if they should get an information technology degree online, and I'm just going to talk about computer and information technology degrees in general. So, Welcome back to the Black Heights channel, where we talk about all things related to the skill development in the IT sector. Now, before we get to the video, guys, do me a stone cold favor and stump that like button as it helps us grow the channel. And guys, we are going to jump directly into this one right here. I'm going to tell you first, and I'm gonna be talking about positions and salaries and then i'm going to talk about the types of computer and information technology degrees and the types of courses that you should expect from those types of degrees then we wrap it up that's what we'll do so let's jump directly into it computer and information technology degrees they are some of the most lucrative degrees out there today the field of computer and information technology continues to expand and it's no wonder because our lives are becoming digital. And according to the U.S. Labor of Bureau Statistics, they say that the computer and information technology positions, positions will expand about 13% from 2016 to 2026, and that's faster than the average. So as you can tell, based on the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, that computer information technology degrees are lucrative. And I would say the median, the median pay for a computer information technology professional is about $82,000. So guys, you're gonna be making a good amount of money if you were to get an information technology degree. So a lot of those folks actually make about six figures. And we're going to talk about some of the positions and the salaries that you can make if you are in information technology or get a computer and information technology degree. Let's start off with a computer and information systems manager. They make about $135,000 a year. That is a lot of money. Guys, when I think about positions, it's best to map to a position that you wanna to get to based on the salary that you wanna make and based on the lifestyle that you want to live. So salaries are very important. And if you are or thinking about becoming a computer and information technology major, Think about the salaries that you can make in life one day. If you become a computer information systems manager, you can make around $135,000 a year. Another position that you can get as a computer and information technology major, after you gain some experience and potentially if you get a master's degree, is a computer and information research scientist. They make about $111,000 a year. You also can become a software developer where you can make around $102,000 a year, a computer network architect, which makes about $101,000 a year, or an information security analyst, which makes about $92,000 a year. So you see that you can make a lot of money if you were to get a computer and information technology degree. So let's now talk about the types of computer and information technology degrees. A lot of people ask, Antoine is an IT degree or a CIT degree and MIS the same? Well, a CIT or IT degree and MIS differs because MIS is typically more business focused with the technology. IT is really just focused on the hard skills and it's more technical, so they are different. And typically, if you were to get an IT degree, you are going to be working in an IT department. Whereas if you are in an MIS program, you can work on the business side, you can work in IT, you can work in the development side, you can work all over the place, right? Because you understand business. So IT will put you in IT. But if you want to go that route, it is definitely a lucrative place or lucrative degree to have. Now, the types of degrees that you can get 
as in computer and information technology major or an associate's degree. An associate's degree is going to give you the basics of IT. So it's going to teach you things like intro to networking, intro to routing, security concepts, and computer fundamentals. So it, getting a associate's degree is definitely cost effective. And if you can break your way into the workforce with an associate's degree, you can move up by just working and learning on the job. Another route that most people take typically for a computer information technology degree is to get a bachelor's degree. And they are typically going to be about 120 credit hours in a larger university. Um, this is the path that most people take when you get a computer information technology degree from a four year major. Most people will be on campus unless they go the online route, which is fine as well too. A lot of schools do offer this sort of degree online and they have some really good credentials and things like that. But the concentrations, if you are going to get a computer information technology degree is going to be offered in the four year universities or the four year online universities. And you can focus or concentrate on things like cybersecurity, data analytics, networking, uh, system administrations, you know, you can do some management, you can do web design, you can do software development. There's a lot of concentrations that you can do with a computer information technology degree at a four year institution. Now guys, is it worth it getting a computer and information technology degree? Yeah, man, it is because you can make a lot of money you're going to be gainfully employed because it is a growing field. More people are going to need technology. More companies are going to use technologies to meet the needs of people like us. So it is a good place to be a good degree to have, and you can make a lot of money. I give it a thumbs up. There's other things that you can do with it as well by getting a master's degree or a PhD, but that's just going to cost you a lot more money and I wouldn't recommend it unless you know there is a or a path that you want to go down in order for you to do that. But we're not going to talk about the master's degrees or things like that. I just wanted to give you a good understanding of what a computer and information technology degree is worth. What are the types of degrees you can get, which is an associate degree or a four year bachelor's degree. You can also get a master's and a PhD as well too, but I recommend the four year bachelor's degree, unless you can break in with an associate's degree and make a lot of money climbing the ladder. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that notification bell to be alerted when I drop that new content. Also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, do me another favor and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, y'all. Peace.